Hi, Overseer Campbell. This is an optional side mission. Oh, shoot. Break into Galvani's flat. Hans dies. Take a seat. You too. Sit tight. There you go. Middle seat for you. Bullets. What the bullet? Avoiding the rat plague. Much of the public still harbors false beliefs related to the plague. It is not true that the bile from river crusts will protect against con contraction of the disease. Nor is it true that crushed Morley orchids act as a remedy. Though it is speculated that both of these ingredients are used in both Sokolov's elixir and Piero's remedy. Consumption of these products before exposure to the plague constitutes the only known means of resisting the disease. Further, the Abbey of the Everyman warns against superstitious practices. Not only is it ineffective to burn two hagfish and a cat together, ugh, inhaling the vapors while chanting the names of the plague dead, but it is also considered heresy by the overseers and will be met with the full measure of the Abbey's laws. Tell your neighbors and practice these things yourself. Avoid contact with the infected. Consume your ration of elixir daily, preferably in the morning, and report everyone, anyone suspected of carrying the plague. Everyone must work together to stop the spread of the dreaded co contagion. Bye -bye. I'm farsi. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. These things do nothing for me. I'm confused. There. Eat, eat up. Oh, no. -uh. I have to keep his position. <laughs> he says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. Somehow, I'm gonna. I've been invited to a soiree at the Boyle Estate. Of course, I won't attend the 28th day of the seventh month, the month of high cold, is the day I met Anton Sokolov at the Academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic boots? I have no time for fools. I will be solving the riddle of this plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup of Tivian Red. He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I bring. <laughs> My first female choke out. Sorry, woman. You want to take a sleep on the nice, lovely bench here? So nice. Pass out. Boom. Booyah. Well, I'm rich. Rat viscera. Um, I want to drink some bathtub water. Yum, yum, yum. Those are so weird. Why does it say drink? I clearly can't drink any of it. I just watch it run. So wasteful. Rat viscera, where you is? Gross! Ah, oh, Rat fetus, it's bigger than the rat! Oh. Wee! Oh, uh, wee! Oh, wee! Okay, where's this rat and Mr. Nonsense? Buh! 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 Oh my god. 
I'm so rich. Oh my gosh, I am so rich. I never hear it. Me part here for me. Rat behavior and extermination. Used to be you'd go out with the bag, a stick with a nail in the end, and catch as many rats as you could in the night. Ugh. The city watch paid by weight. My husband Benjamin and I mostly worked alone, and we got by. Ugh, this is a girl. If we found a place where the rats were real bad, sometimes we'd hire a crew of street brats to work with us, the younger ones who didn't make trouble. We'd pay them with bread and apple cider. Once the plague came, the rats were different. B meaner, bigger, and a little quicker. You had to watch yourself. If you got cornered, they'd turn and swarm and come back at you. Uh, I barely got away with my skin a few times down in the sewers. The bites hurt afterwards, but it was the sounds that made they made that stayed in your dreams at night. It got more dangerous, and the city watch started paying better, but that didn't last long because after a while, too many people had been stripped clean trying to fill up a bag. And one slip, and they'd be all over you, gnawing and trying to chew down to the bone. That's how I lost my poor Benji. Guess I'm done here. Boom!